rejection of rules influenced the beginnings of the realism movement. Realism was central to France in the mid-19th century. Proponents of the movement rejected imaginative idealizations in favor of close observation. They believed that such rejection of previous classical and romantic styles was necessary in order to accurately portray the lives of middle and lower class people. The realism movement was stimulated by several developments in the late 19th century, including the development of photography. The first known photograph was created between 1826 and 1827 by Joseph Nikifor Neeps with his invention of the heliography. The image is a view from his window. It took days to make, shown through the inconsistencies of light in the buildings. This proves that it was a long exposure process. In 1838, Louis Daguerre invented the daguerreotype, which was a thin silver-plated copper sheet with silver iodide, exposed in a box of camera. He discovered that there is a latent image by shorter exposure that can be chemically developed concluding that you can expose the film to light for less time. He is credited with the first known picture of a person, Boulevard du Temple. They were sitting still, getting their shoes shined. Gustave Corbett was the first artist to be a self-proclaimed realist, in the studio from 1854 to 1855. He was strongly opposed to the idealization of his art and instead pushed other artists to make realism a commonplace. He viewed his representation of everyday life as the truest form of art. Corbett's work was based off of his predecessors in the Barbizon School. Honoré Dame was another realist artist in France. He sought to capture satirical caricatures of the high class and, and politician. At the same time in France, another art movement was on the rise, Impressionism. Impressionism was primarily a painting movement, later followed by trends in music. This artistic style sought to capture transient effects of light and color. There were several principal Impressionistic painters, including Claude Monet, Edgar Degas, Paul Cezanne, and Edouard Manet, Surat, and Pissarro. These artists became dissatisfied with traditional academic teachings of representing historical and mythological events in art. Instead, attention was shifted to manipulation of color, tone, and texture. In particular, they were influenced by the discoveries of color theory led by Ogden Rode and Albert Munsell. Uh, Manet's Luncheon on the Grass of 1863 is seen as being responsible for the beginning of Impressionism. His sense of lighting and proportion is important to notice. The woman in the back is too big in comparison with the other figures. His brush strokes loosen in the background, which is thought to be influenced from development of photography. In terms of color palette, Impressionist painters abandoned the traditional muted tones of greens, browns, and grays, and instead utilized brighter and sunnier colors, as bright reflections were also seen on water. The study of the movement of water also became a study of shadows, highlights, and animation within a painting. This can be seen in Claude Monet's Water Lilies. The period that followed Impressionism is rightfully called the Post-Impressionistic Era of Art. It is seen as both a rejection of limits and a furtherance of what Impressionism can encompass. The Impressionistic tradition of recording nature and its beauty was forfeited, for the Post-Impressionists began to experiment with different subject matter. However, they retain the same vibrant color palette and distinct brushstrokes. The iconic painters of this time include Paul Cezanne, George Seurat, Paul Wagen, Vincent van Gogh, and Henri de toulouse lauret All these artists, except for Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh, were French. Paul Cezanne deviated from the Impressionistic path in order to make Impressionism something solid and durable, like the art of the museums. Therefore, he approached his work with a sense of permanence, focusing on natural forms and depth. In his painting, Bathers, 1874, he demonstrates an analytical approach of the composition. His plain air painting of the landscape represents spatial depth, while the figures are from his imagination. He continues the contrast with nature and imagination in his painting, The Fisherman. The two paintings share bright tones and similar compositional qualities. George Seurat also paid high attention to composition rather than the Impressionist focus on color. Surat sought to represent life and luminosity through the placement of tiny dots of contrasting colors side by side, developing the style known as pointillism. Vincent van Gogh deviated from the Impressionists through his brushwork. Impressionists were known for their short and structured mark making, while van Gogh made long swirling brushstrokes, exaggerated beyond the point of Expressionism. This can be seen in his work Yellow Wheat in Cyprus, 1889. His style became spontaneous and intense, often squeezing paint directly onto the canvas. Van Gogh remains one of the most celebrated artists in history for his emotional and unique approach to his works. 
resulting in expressive color and line work, which went on to further inspire movements such as Expressionism.